How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here. We're back on Forza Horizon 5 with once again another video. As you may be aware, Xbox gave me the opportunity to play a limited version of Forza Horizon 5. It wasn't a demo, but it was single player only. There's a few unfinished things such as the car list still isn't final even in the version I was playing but nevertheless with my time with the game I have put a ton of content for together for you guys so make sure to subscribe as over the next few weeks tons of Horizon 5 content. Forza Editions has always been something really cool to collect within a Forza title. Previously known as Horizon Editions, they are still being called Forza Editions in Forza Horizon 5. Having access to a limited version of the game, I can now see most of what the Forza Edition cars are going to be, and in today's video we're going to take a look at them all. There won't be gameplay of all of them, there will only be gameplay of some of the cars that I've managed to get, however we can now narrow down exactly what the Forza Editions are. So, let's take a look. We can find the Forza Editions using the Horizon promo car list. Now, once again, I do need to say the car list on screen right now is not final. It's not complete, there may be stuff missing, there may be stuff removed, blah, 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 blah. Nevertheless, here are the Forza Editions. Starting off, the first Forza edition is the BMW X5M 2011. It comes with quite a cool livery on it, pretty big wing and some fancy wheels. And as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, there's a little download icon for the BMW X5M. That's because this car, this Forza edition is included in the VIP pass. So if you get the VIP pass, you can get the BMW X5M Forza edition. Moving along, we have the Chevrolet Corvette Forza Edition from 1953. I have a tiny bit of gameplay of this, I'll put it on screen right now. Um, it comes in quite a nice gold and red livery, gold wheels, looks very cool, and of course, it's obviously rocking the Forza Edition number plates, just like previous titles. Next up is the Dodge Charger Forza Edition from 1969, <laughs> funny number. This one also has a little download icon in the bottom right, meaning that it comes within the VIP pass. Comes with pretty cool blue wheels with tie writing, obviously this is one of my favourite ones so far. On to the next one, we have the Exomotive Exoset Off-Road Forza Edition from 2018. I don't know if I pronounced that right, if I did I apologise. Comes in a very tacky chrome gold paint but it's an off-road car why not gold rims tie routing the usual for a Forza edition this one can be through a wheel spin as we can see the next one is a ford racing puma Forza edition from 1999 this one i do actually have one of but i can't drive it because it's within the vip pass as you can see from the little icon in the bottom right comes with a big wing you know, the usual Forza Edition stuff. Up next, we have the Ford Deluxe 5 Window Coupe Forza Edition. Now, this one also has a little download symbol in the bottom right, but I'm not sure how you get it. I'm not going to try and guess, but yeah, the 1932 Ford Deluxe is another Forza Edition to try and collect. Up next is the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento Forza Edition. Comes in a really cool white and red. This one, again, through wheel spins, it doesn't look like it's a DLC of any sorts, but that one's going to be one of my favourites, I reckon. Next is the Maserati Gran Turismo S Forza Edition. Comes in sort of a matte grey with gold accents. Once again, not a DLC, so you can get that through wheel spins. 
Next, the Mercedes AMG One, the brand new, you know, sort of cover car, does have a photo edition equivalent, as you can see, not any fancy uh, DLC or anything. Next up is the Mercedes Benz Tank Pool 24 Racing Truck Auto Edition. What a mouthful. Next one, the Mercedes-Benz AMG CLK GTR Forza Edition from 1998. Comes in a very tacky chrome, um, kind of looks cool with a big wang once again. Seems to be through a wheel spin, no fancy DLC or anything like that. Next up, the Myers Manx Forza Edition from 1971. This doesn't have a DLC either. Once again, another wheel spin um, Forza Edition car. Very cool. Next, the Morris Minor 1000 Forza Edition from 1953. This comes in a really sort of cut, sort of a race livery, the number 38 on the side. That's another Forza Edition there. On to the next one, we have the Nissan 350Z Forza Edition. Technically the Fair Lady Z, also called the 350Z, comes in a pretty disgusting um, camo um, sort of livery with sort of, sort of rally spec um, Forza Edition. I guess it's all right. I think it's pretty disgusting. On to the next one. We have the Pagani Huayra BC Forza Edition, which has a huge wang. Um, I love the Pagani Huayra. It's one of my favourite hypercars. Definitely going to want to get this one. I hope this has a good bonus on it, um, like XP or credits, because I want to be using that a lot. Sort of looks like the Zonda with the colour scheme it's got, but it's a Huayra. On to the next one. We have the Pontiac Firebird Trans AM GTA Forza Edition. Pretty cool from 1987. Sort of looks like some kind of drag car with the spec it's being given in the big wheels. Looks very cool. Once again, it's not any fancy DLC. I don't think there are any more DLC Forza editions. It's just the ones previously. Next one is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS from 2019 Forza Edition. This one comes in red and white. Very odd colour choice and colour um, combination, but looks kind of cool, I guess. Once again, it's got rally lights on it. I don't know why. Looks all right. Next up, the Volkswagen Beetle Forza Edition from 1963. This one's also got some kind of weird big wing on the back. Comes in a sort of a metallic grey colour. Um, I've actually got one of these, so I'll have a little bit of gameplay on this on screen right now, just for a few seconds. Sounds cool, the tyres look really cool, the plate's obviously a Forza Edition, just what you'd expect from a Forza Edition car.
Now that is all of the cars on the Horizon promo list. Presumably that means that that is all of the Horizon, all of the Forza editions in the game. However, as I said at the beginning, the car list is not final, so there may be some Forza editions to add to this at release. But for the time being, that is the majority of the Forza editions in Forza Horizon 5. Let me know in the comment section below which Forza edition you're looking forward to the most. Personally, it's either the Dodge Charger or the Sesto Elemento. Now, my personal interest is the XP and the credit boosts, because as you know, I like to do 50 laps of the biggest race in the game. Back in Horizon 4, I did a 2,000 mile race, took just over 12 hours, and I did it in the XP boost car, so I could get the most XP. In this game, whatever the XP boost cars are, chances are I'm going to be doing a big race in that. So, But yeah guys, those are the Forza editions that we can see through Horizon Promo in Horizon 5. Subscribe to the channel for plenty more Forza Horizon 5 content, got tons of videos for you all. I will see you all later.